Most people in America are quite accustomed to having their own rights on their own computer, and they're not accustomed to having their rights on their own computer revoked. Since I've been in around this area of the mall, I've had many, many files stolen and many, many files deleted by the bastards of America who hack our computers, who ruin our cell phones, and who just think that they're clever. They're not. They're immoral in front of God, and they're illegal under the law. The liars of America do this, and they pretend that they're holier than thou. They are not. They are liars of America. Jesus Christ is not going to be served by your behavior today, is what a lot of pastors might say. But here's the reality. What do you know about Jesus today? The liars of America are the people who like to pretend they're someone. The liars of America are people who like to say they could be anyone. The liars of America like to play the catch-me-if-you-can game, in which they pretend to be other people, they use intellectual property, they take their copywritten work, they destroy their logos, and they act like a jerk, and they just don't care about their rights compared to yours, because their attitude is, I am lord of all, I am king of the mountain, I am president of the hill, and they're just not. They are liars of America ruining America. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth. And the truth is that people lie. The only question is, is it a lie or is it a piece of information that is not properly needed to be publicly disclosed? You see, people have illnesses right now. And some people die of COVID, but then it's pronounced to be something else as if they're in Hollywood and they need to protect their rights to the privacy and the dignity of their death. There are other people who have flu and do not get themselves off work because they have to work just like me and you and they have to make a living just like me and you but then they're passing their illness around all over town because they're touching things when they work they're stocking shelves they're putting their hands on green or money and not all of us because of cybercrime have the right to have a bank card mine were never returned from my jail situation which i didn't ask for but some woman in a court system thought that i deserved and as a result i was sexually assaulted in jail by the officers who were supposed to look out for us and keep us safe from mainly one of other not from them the liars of america still stalk still earn still hate still destroy and they go off and they marry someone else now I can talk about all the different facets of my life balance that have been abused by someone in the force. But at the same time I know that Lord Jesus Christ is not amused by that person because of their life force. Jesus is not being served by that individual because that person is too demonic and too satanic. You see, a Satan force, according to a pagan and very quality authors on religion, like the late and great Derek Prince, talk about how Satan is an aggressor, Satan as an antagonist, and Satan does everything they can to ruin life for other people. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about what our rights are and are not. When you try to take over someone's body rights, you are proving that you are a Satan and a rapist. When you try to play in someone's documents, you prove that you are legal under federal law committing cyber crime, identity theft, and fraud. When you start to write letters on behalf of someone you don't have the right to represent, you are absolutely committing identity theft and fraud, and openly it is a form of crime. Stealing a person's mail is a crime. Stealing a person's medical records is a crime creating false medical reports without the person even cognizant or there is a crime making reports in legal situations is a form of litigation abuse and it should most definitely be a crime it is a form of harassment and is a form of abuse liars in america exist in the forest because they need big bad men to care for america but here's the problem they're already abusing our flag over and over again by putting a blue line on it just like when they put the red line or the green line on it those lines already on our flag mean something for it those lines already on our flag are about people's rights those lines already present on our flag do not make law enforcement some special unique people what they say is we are all a part of the same 
American human race and family, and many people use the purity of their heart to fight for people's rights, and many people bled their blood from their family lineage to keep our America safe, and many people cried over the deaths of the people we have lost in every way. So how dare you add additional colors to our flag? You are ruining people's rights today.